So first there were lantern flies, right? And we we're all worried about that. And, mm. yep. and just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, now the cicadas are coming. Yeah, so are we going to have time. cicadas and lantern flies? Yeah, because the cicada has been underground for 17 years waiting to come out. And this is the year. It's going to happen in the next few days, the next few weeks. Ooh. Look at this. This video is from the BBC uh, on YouTube. Shows cicadas coming out of the ground. They've been waiting there 17 years. This has not happened in our area since 2004. And now they're back. Hank. What should we do? Yeah, billions and billions of these. These are cicadas, and we're about to see every single one of them on the planet, guys. But we're the only person we could really go to to talk about it, Dr. John Cambridge, at his fabulous insectarium and butterfly pavilion. Watch out. Hello, hello. <laughs> Up here in the great northeast. How do these things feed, and why does this happen this way? I'm so happy you asked me that. All right, so here we can actually take a closer look at what the mouth part of a cicada looks like. Kind of interesting that the adults have this long straw-like structure, even though it's not used at all. So the immatures are going to be feeding on tree roots for like 17 years, and then they emerge in mass. If you're the specific type of cicada we're here to talk about today. What do you tell people? It's a big city with a lot of folks in it. Maybe you don't know nearly as much about insects as you do. What do you tell folks who are afraid of brood eggs? Well, all right, let's take a closer look at one of these things. Right. Uh, does this look like it has a stinger? Uh, the answer is no. Does it look like it could bite you? Also, again, no. All right. Uh, it's not distasteful. It's not going to cause allergies that we really know about. So this is not a creature that has any ability to harm you. Uh, you might kind of plug your ears because it's going to get quite loud uh, when they all come out. That's kind of awesome, actually, in a way. Now, let's talk about things that there actually has been some fear on, which is the spotted lantern fly. We, have, we talked about it all last year, but I haven't talked about it in a while. Where do we stand with that? Did uh, you say spotted lantern fly? Yes, I did. Ah! Wait, I, you just so happened to have it. <laughs> That's so random. <laughs> wow. Um, all right, so real quickly, real quickly, <laughs> because cicadas are something that people need to know about. This thing that's gonna come out, Brood X is uh, the largest geographic brood that we have in the country. So it's gonna be going all up and down the East Coast. Um, and if you really wanna see it, get out somewhere that hasn't had construction over the past 17 years. You're not gonna see huge numbers in the city. Right. You're gonna go out to like, oh, I don't know, one of the beautiful parks around us, state parks, New Jersey's filled with them too. Wissahickon, Wissahickon. Sure. So that's gonna be amazing. Last time we saw them around here was 2004. That's incredible, all right. But these guys, uh, a little bit different, uh, a little bit less loved. Um, the spotted lantern fly is gonna continue to be a problem for us here. Okay. Uh, we actually are kind of at the epicenter of it. So in 2014, it was first introduced into Berks County, PA. Yes. We're neighbors with the epicenter of this introduction. Um, and yeah, we're gonna continue to see them. We don't have natural predators. So there's nothing that's going to be killing it. All right. Now, we've been told to kill these things. You're saying that's the wrong idea. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, because you're just inspiring this mentality of go out and squish insects. It's not an effective way to actually keep the population down. And you're killing all the bugs. Guys. Boo. Uh, yeah, uh, we don't like that. At Insectarium, least of all, we don't like that at all. Stop killing all the bugs. Guys, look, we're going to be back here in a little while to talk not just about the insects, but about mammals that they've got okay. here as well. There's a million different things happening here, and we'll talk about it okay. all coming back up. We'll keep following this until the cicadas come to visit. Have